I hope you are having a fantastic Friday. I wanted to pop in and share with you. I often get asked if I'm moving from one computer to the other. I'm a desktop user and I want, I'm taking it from a thumb drive and I want to put it on my computer. What is the process for that? And I have a how-to video on my blog, but I wanted to do a live one here and walk you step by step. Okay, so let me share my QuickBooks and we will jump in. So if you are, this is just a tip in general, if you are a desktop user, make sure you are backing up your QuickBooks on an external drive as often as you don't wanna lose your data basically, okay? So let's go through this. I like this version better, so this look. So you're gonna go up to, you're gonna first plug in your external drive, your thumbnail, whatever, thumb drive, whatever you're using. <laughs> Not, I don't think it's called a thumbnail, but you know what I mean. Um, so you're gonna go file, backup company. So if you haven't done this lately, make sure you do. I recommend an external drive that is an actual drive. Here, let me show you mine real quick, just so you know. This is the one like I use, you can use whatever you want, but you wanna make sure you do that because um, a thumb drive, the little USB drives, they can get corrupted and have issues. And you don't wanna have your file living on that. You want it to actually be on your computer if you are a desktop user, unless you're using like cloud or that kind of stuff. So you're gonna come in here and you're gonna choose local backup. And then you're gonna choose options. You're going to browse for that and you're gonna find your external drive. Now I am technically on a Mac computer using parallels so there's a couple different things here but we'll do this okay you could technically go in deeper and say i'm also looking for and go into all your different things i think i have a quickbooks yep quickbooks backups right here file i recommend creating one click ok you want to add the date and time to make sure that you know which one it is this limit to three you may or may not want to do that um, but you do want to make sure that it, it reminds you as you're doing it and you want this is the most important where you're saving it and then it's a complete verified is what I recommend and click OK. Click next and then you wanna save it now. Save it, it's gonna close all of your, so it's backed up, it says OK. This is a sample file that I was teaching on yesterday. So let me close all that. Okay, so let's just say, I'm now gonna come in, let me close this and I'm going to be in my QuickBooks and I wanna restore that file from the beginning. So something to know is when you're looking at your QuickBooks, the location that it's saved to is right here, okay? If that's saying like F or a different letter than like C, and it's saving from your external drive, that's not what you want. So what you wanna do is it's easiest if you back it up first and then make sure you have the current file and then restore it on your QuickBooks. So we'll go open or restore an existing. And then this is where, depending on the type of file you saved, you choose. So if it's a company file, you would just click open which it's not, we did a backup. So we're gonna click restore a backup. If you were doing a portable file or you were doing an accountant's copy, you'd be choosing these, okay? We're doing a backup. You will notice if you're not sure, when you open up, go in and look at like where you saved it to, it'll give you a title or an ending code, this little end. If it's QBW, that's a company file or the accountants. If it's a backup, it'll say QBB. So if you ever trying to restore or do something and you're like, it won't work, you might, you need to make sure that whatever type of file it is, is the one you're selecting. And then you're gonna say, is this backup copy, where is it? It's local, click next. You're going to look for it, which it's this one. And you're gonna click open. And then you're gonna click next. Now this is the important part right here. When you go to save it, you don't wanna resave it to your external drive. You wanna save it to your QuickBooks. So typically that's gonna be under the C drive, under users, public, public documents. It'll depend on your where you save your file. It's up to you. Intuit, QuickBooks, and then we usually do it under the company files. That's normally where we save it. You can rename it here, whatever you want. So if you wanna name it a different year, you wanna give it a different type, like name. So it's easy to do, to tell, let's add 2022 to this, and then click save, it's going to actually save it then to your computer so that you're using your computer and not trying to use an external drive to use that file, okay? Then it will restore it. When it's restored, it will open. You'll know it's good to go. If in the future, you wanna make sure you're using the correct one, I'm gonna give you a couple little tips. You can have multiple files under open previous here. If you are constantly opening the wrong file, you can always look here under the C user will show up 
here when you go to open previous. You can also change the number of companies you can have open at one time. Did you know that? So if you have like a couple different companies, but you only need just the last one you're using and you're getting confused, you can actually change that to one and click OK. And you'll notice now it's only going to show one. If you are only seeing one and you know you have multiple, consider checking to make sure that you have as many as possible showing. You can have up to 20. And this is how you can go back and forth between many different company files. OK, you'll also find them if you are if you see it in the other screen, you go file close company. If you see it from this screen, remember to look at the location and by renaming it, it will be easier to know which one. It will also tell you when was the last time you modified that particular company file. I hope this helps you. Let me know how you're doing and if this is just what you needed. If you need more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you inside our next video. Have an amazing day. And if you need help with QuickBooks, you can always register and check out our customizing QuickBooks workshop. I'll put the link up above and down below. See you soon. Bye. Have a great day.